Hello. You know my name's Snow. If I was to give you one guess as to how someone might have messed with my base, what would you say? Yep. Snow golems. Absolutely everywhere. I mean, to be fair, the snow does look kind of nice around here. But this isn't quite what I expected to see when I logged in this morning. Hello, my friend. But to be fair, I did say at the end of the last episode that we needed to fill this area with some animals. So I think we should round these guys up and pop them in the pen for now. How did you get up there? Ah, oh, that's better. We're all tidied up. And at least we got a bit of company over here. Anyway, welcome back to Redwood Forest, where in the last episode we made this gorgeous base, which I am very, very happy with. Until that is, you walk inside and you see we haven't got an interior sorted. Oh yeah, and the snow golems are in here as well. And on to today, we have a few things planned that we need to get on with, starting with an interior. So let's grab a few bits from our new storage area, otherwise known as the Shulker dumping ground behind our house, and crack on with an interior. Uh, guys, can you clear up this mess? I've got an interior to make. So now we've got some floors and a set of stairs in, let's get to work creating some rooms, starting with a kitchen. Right, interior's done, but before I show you, I quickly need to talk to you about these guys. They are a nightmare. They keep starting fights with mobs if I don't sleep, causing all these creeper holes, so it's doing my head in. So I'll fix this hole, but what I want from you guys is some names for our new neighbours. So send me your best names. Snow puns encouraged. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Shall I give you a quick tour of our new interior for our beautiful base? Kitchen, study, bedroom, and storage room, which is very much empty because of the ever-increasing shulker monster that's still outside. But anyway, this house is like so last episode. Let's do some new stuff. And I think we've got such a gorgeous area over here, and it will look really good with houses dotted everywhere. And what's a house if nobody lives there? So I think we need to fill them with villagers. So I want to start putting together a villager setup because basically I only have one of all of these tools and even though they were lovingly donated, they're getting a bit lonely. So eventually we'll need to get some librarians and some toolsmiths and armorers so we can replenish this stuff when eventually we die. But before we can do that, we need a source of emeralds. So the plan for today is to make a farm for some pumpkins and some melons and then cover it up with a beautiful farmhouse where we can house some farmers. So first job for today is to crack on with the farm. And for that, I'm missing one thing, which is some quartz. So let's head over to the nether and grab that now. Now we do actually already have a nether portal over here, but this one takes us onto the nether roof. So that's not gonna be much use in getting the quartz. So I think we're gonna build another portal just over here. And what I'm thinking is if we build it in the side of this little mountain here, we can uh, make it sort of overgrown, flowing out of the mountain. And I think that'll look really cool. So we'll decorate that probably later. But for now, let's build the portal and then we can head on and get the quartz. So apparently my mic didn't record. Uh, now you're going to have to put up with me just telling you what happened on a not very successful trip to the nether. So here was me lighting the portal and then saying to camera, oh, I wonder what type of spawn we'll get. I hope it's a nice, simple, danger-free one. We got into the nether and it looked danger-free until this happened. I realized I wasn't wearing gold and we were getting attacked. I ran away and he went through the portal. So I thought we'll probably be okay now because they're going to turn into a zombie piglin, right? 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 Wrong. It's still a pigling and it's attacking me. I somehow managed to throw my sword on the floor, uh, fly away, think that's a good idea, and fly straight into some dripstone and get myself down to half a heart like some sort of numpty. Here's me talking to camera about what an idiot I am because I realise I do actually have a gold helmet with unbreaking and mending on it just for the nether. So I fuel up 
and have a look through the disgustingly overgrown shulker monster out the back of the house and try and find it in there. Realise it's actually in my super organised ender chest, so I grab it out of my backup clove shulker box, pop it on and then go and give it another go in the nether. Once we get into the nether, I see this guy and I have a massive go at him for letting his friend try and kill me. We proceed to acquire a bunch of quartz just like we need, get attacked by this ghast and I show my terrible bow skills. Then I just decide to shoot him in the back because I'm basically a massive coward at this point and then we just head back through the nether because it's finally done. Well that was eventful, we have the quartz now which is good but we nearly died in the process which was far from ideal. But we've got it now so we can crack on with making this farm. So I'm going to hop into F4 and show you the inside of my face and I'm going to try and talk you through what the plan is for this farm that we're going to make. So I'm thinking we're going to build a beautiful farmhouse over this side of the area. So when you walk up to or boat up I should say to this little bay area at the front here you've got the farmhouse and we're going to fill this little area here with some crops. So you've got a nice little area to walk through come up the path to our base on this side. We're then going to fill this farmhouse with some villagers and then basically under the farmhouse we're going to dig a massive giant hole and we're going to build a standard pumpkin and melon farm. So without further ado I think we should go and start digging a massive hole and building our farm. Here we go, the most beautiful pumpkin and melon farm you've ever seen. What do you mean it looks ugly? Ah, we'll make it look better another time. But look, it's working! Aren't I clever? I can successfully follow a YouTube tutorial video. Link in the description. Anyway, now that's done, shall we start gathering some materials for our farmhouse? Q resource gathering montage! Ah, you don't want to see me mindlessly chopping down trees, do you? You want to see a build? Let's do that instead. Look at these guys. It seems like scarecrows in Minecraft always have the classic big farmer type hat, but these ones with their backwards cap just look so wicked. I sound so old. Anyway, I guess I should show you the gorgeous farmhouse that we built, but should we do it with a little shaders preview? So we've got this gorgeous little path that takes you through the crop field all the way up to our beautiful farmhouse. And for the roof, we've gone with a similar palette to our base. So we've got the mangrove and the dark oak trim. And I saw this uh, tip from a Mr. Beardstone video where we've got the upside down stairs in the roof trim. And I think that looks really cool. So thanks to Mr. Beardstone for the inspo. And for the walls of the build, we've gone with the stone sort of look. So we've got all the mossy cobble chipped in with the tuff and the stone bricks and andesite just to give it a load of texture. Um, I went with this just because around the whole of the spruce forest we've got loads of mossy cobble so it kind of makes sense as if the farmers have built this up from the ground um, with their own bare hands. And out the front we've got some of the redwood trees. I've kind of rolled back on my plan to change all of these spruce trees into mangrove. Mangrove is a nightmare to farm. And around the whole build we've got this gorgeous mossy sort of cobblestone wall. I can't tell you how long this took me. It was uh, a nightmare quite frankly. But it does look amazing. It's all chipped in so it looks a bit rough and ragged where we've got the stone stairs and the walls and everything just making it look a bit worn as if it's kind of been here for ages. I'm just hoping though that it's villager proof because most of it's two plus blocks high so I'm hoping they can't get out. But I guess we'll find out once we get some people inside. So speaking of the villagers, it's time to go and find some so we can find some people for our new home. So let's head off and find a village. Now would you believe it, 
just a short five second flight away from our farmhouse is a village. It's almost like we planned it. So let's have a look around here and see if we can find some unsuspecting victims. Oh, now I feel bad for calling them victims. I mean adventurous souls who want a lovely new forever home. Hello little dude, would you like to become a farmer and come and live with me and do crops and stuff? Well you're already a farmer, so you're perfect. Off to the redwood forest we go! Stay there, I'm gonna go and get you some company. Why does it have to rain on moving day? It's so unfair. We have our two villagers. One of them annoyingly is staying as a fisherman. He won't even look at me because he's that ashamed of what he's done. I think it's time to move these two guys into their farmhouse and hopefully he'll turn into a farmer soon. And I think I'm going to do it with a breadcrumb trail of composters. And you've already started farming your crops. Aren't you a good little farmer? Time to go and get you a friend. How are you still a fisherman? Ow! Where are you going? Come back! Come back! Aha! You're no longer a fisherman. Excellent. Let's do the composter breadcrumb trail for you as well. Ah, oh, that's better. We've slept away the rain and I think they're enjoying their new home. And he hasn't escaped yet either, which is always a good start. But unfortunately there is one problem which I haven't told you about yet. Yeah. Other than two beds so they've got somewhere to sleep, there's no interior again. But when you move into a new home, it's always empty, right? So you need to make it your own. So guys, if you can sort out the interior for me uh, in between episodes, that'd be really good. But anyway, I think that's a great time to finish the episode. So we'll leave it there for today. I'm going to get on with trading up these villagers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next one. See ya!